Hello, welcome to another episode of Crypto Charts. I'm Fausto Botelho broadcasting from Brazil. And today we're going to take a look in the S&P, whose, uh, whose uh, bull's army are showing their muscles. But who knows till where, when, I mean. And then we're going to take a look in some altcoins that we're keeping an eye on. Just like last week, nothing changed too much in the outs. Uh, space so here it goes the s p it's right here and now here are the outs here's the s p <clears throat> so uh, the market broke the rectangle resistance and went up but it it well it's still below the support trend line and of course the support trend line and of course the major long-term support trend line but uh, one positive thing for the bulls is that it break out again this uh, 29.80 level in which it had its previous two or three this is technically in the same level three tops so uh, it looks uh, if we consider the close and the highs today that it's definitely going to be testing the all times high. Let's see what happens when it gets there. <clears throat> uh, whenever the market tops, it usually produces a lot of uh, volatility. It's like two big guys fighting, you know, and they lower their guard and, and go to the straight fight. Uh, one thing is for sure, one of them is going to fall. And so far, I I think it's not going to be the bears because there is a lot of bears there but you know in the other side there is the fed and trump and the european central bank which is going to announce some uh rate changes tomorrow and eventually some quantitative easing although analysts don't think they're going to Go as far as uh, quantitative easings but anyway there is uh market is expecting considering the the close in the high for some bullish news for tomorrow but anyway in the other hand you have the uh china central bank bank of china and maybe bank of russia and so we have to see what's going to happen. Uh, the next chapter is going to be to next week. We're going to have to wait to next week to see what's going to happen with the S&P. Either it will have to definitely time to break the all times high or reverse another fourth time in these levels. Well, actually, it is not the fourth time. It is, as you can see, the one, two, three, four, fifth time that it will eventually reverse in this level. Each time the bulls are showing that they're losing strength whenever they aren't able to produce a new decent high. So even if the market breaks the all times high, I am still going to be bearish until the market produces an upward consolidation and breaks to the upward uh, side or like a flag for instance because uh, I will be expecting at any time a reversal and this fifth one may be the last one I hope so because I'm fed up of uh, having the market prove me wrong <laughs> it would be nice for eventually the market prove me right i've been bearish for a long time a long period but so far the market didn't go to new highs it only did last month in july i mean and that was only able to produce as a bear trap uh, sorry a bull trap so let's see what happened let's take a look at the outs now that we're keeping an eye on and of course including btc so back to the charts here all right here we go uh organizing in alphabetical so 
Here it goes. First one is Augur. Well, we broke this resistance, resistance trend line here and the market is flagging up. So we're just expecting, looking in the hourly chart to see whenever this, this beam here is gonna give us a upward signal in order to recommend Augur to the portfolio of our customers. Next one is Bitcoin Cash. Well, Bitcoin Cash, is uh, in its all times low. It actually gave us a reversal in July and then another one in August and then another one in last week. And it's testing now this resistance trend line that it broken. I think will be indicating that we've seen so far a bottom here, bottom formation call it double top or, or head and shoulders uh, with a lower sh uh, left shoulder, whatever. But I think this might be producing a, a bottom formation. We will have to wait to see if it breaks, if it this uh, two day accumulation or three day accumulation turning to a flag, an upward flag or anything. So that's why we're keeping an eye on it. Binance coin, I changed my drawings in this chart since last, last week in order to produce this upward channel. And what I see here is a, a downward channel within this upward channel. And the market so far has reached the, the guideline of this downward trend and also some uh, considerable support levels because uh, we may think that this support trend line of the upper channel is being touched and also this support at uh, 200,000 satoshis. Sorry, I've just changed my chart here as I was doing a class right now. And uh, here in options, you have to define here a lower size in order for you to change to... <coughs> Not for you to change from Bitcoin, from coaching in Bitcoin to coaching in Satoshis. <clears throat> so that's better now. Uh, but you know, we so far we we're seeing this ugly candle today, but it will be testing the 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 lows of uh, this uh, period here since January, uh, almost lows of the year that we're testing these point zero zero two Bitcoins. Let's see what it does when it tests this uh, support here. That's, but overall, we're taking a look at it because we think it might be ready to reverse. Well, Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, let me go to Cryptos 1 here and show you the long-term chart where I only see a, a flag or in the weekly chart here. It's just a flag, right? And... Uh, uh, being sure that <clears throat> the downward movement of 2018 was a corrective wave, I am then pretty sure that we're entering an uh, impulsive wave, uh, out of which I can count five waves. Uh, what's that? No, not monthly, uh, daily chart. Uh, impulsive wave, uh, these, right? After the corrective wave, impulsive wave, out, out of which we. Uh, out of which I can count one, two, three, four, five. And so uh, since the beginning of this formation, I was thinking that we would be seeing a continuation pattern. Now, some of my colleagues are saying that uh, we might be seeing uh, a descending triangle. So here's why I don't think that's a descending triangle. First of all, a triangle is basically a corrective wave. It happens within the trends and it doesn't revert trends. It doesn't mean it can't revert a trend, but it will do it. But we'll have to count three upward, uh, three uh, impulsive waves upwards in order for us to expect that some triangle could be called could revert a trend so in principle a triangle is a continuation pattern and 
the other thing is that if you're in doubt whether it's a descending triangle or a symmetrical triangle or a coil, as some analysts call it, <clears throat> and you better know that name because if you head for the examination in order to be, uh, in order to take your degree in technical analysis, you should know that a uh, symmetrical triangle is also called a coin. That was a question that was in my exam. I don't remember if I if I did it right or not, but I didn't know the translation or or the synonyms. Uh, um, almost lose a, a question for that reason. So uh, back to business here. Uh, if you want to know the div, uh, if you want to you know, be sure whether you've seen a descending triangle or not, you should change your time frame. So if we go to the weekly chart, it's clearly a <clears throat> symmetrical triangle because we, we would draw the support line uh, near, the, the, near the real bodies of the candle, right? So if we draw it in the, near, in the uh, real bodies or in the shadows, uh, it's, it's, it's a uh, symmetrical triangle. We just had a bad tick there. Let's see if I can correct that, but I don't want that. I want, uh, yeah, we I just corrected it. As our people, that has corrected it. So this is it for, no, no, this is not it for Bitcoin. Uh, let's go back to the scriptures we're taking an eye on. And um, so if I'm right, and apparently I am, because uh, I see also a upward flag here, the mast and the process of uh, profit taking here. So uh, I think uh, Bitcoin should be heading up soon and break these resistance, the resistance last of this uh, triangle and go where? So where will it go? Well, we have this uh, impulsive wave here to project from the lows here. And that will take us to 32,000, which is what I think we're heading for the moment. Uh, remember that we're entering wave three of this uh, impulsive process, right? Wave one, wave two, and we're entering wave three. Wave three might be considerably higher, uh, considerably be bigger than wave one. So 32 is the minimum. I don't think uh, wave three would be uh, <coughs> shorter or smaller than wave one. So 32 it is, and with that, we're on the way to break the all-times high. I think that's going to happen, and I think that might as well, might very well happen this year yet. So let's see. Let's combine that with what's going to happen with the S&P to see what's going to happen, right? So next one is LINK. Well, LINK, I'm keeping an eye for a long time already, all this downward movement here, because so far I've seen this uh, <coughs> coin break these token break or coin no token yeah <clears throat> link uh br break this uh, sideways long-term movement here and produce a one two three four five so an impulsive wave and then it corrected so i i'm expecting an abc now and i i think it might is might be ready to give us a bull uh, a bull indica indication signal even though because uh, we've had so far a 50% correction here and the market just broke the support level and it's testing it back now. So if it breaks the support, this uh, former support, now resistance level, it, it will then produce as a bear trap signal. So that's why I'm keeping an eye on it in the early chart to see whenever this is going to give us an indication. The indica indication would come if these... Uh, 0. 0.00018, that's what? Uh, that's 18,200 Satoshi level. Uh, be break, uh, the market breaks this level, right? So next one is uh, Ethereum Classic. Well, Ethereum Classic looks like it's flagging up. And, um, but it's in its all times, uh, near its all times slow and nothing dramatic to besides the fact that if it goes touch its resistance line again it could go as up uh, up as uh, 
as far as 45 percent so there's trade to be done on there if the market breaks this resistance level line uh, trend line sorry uh we could you know place a stop uh buy over here with a stop well nine nine percent away but anyway let's see when it does it right so we're keeping an eye for that reason engine engine um here's the chart in binance uh, we broken this the market broke this resistance trend line which is a quite a reasonable resistance trend line and we also had a reversal when it touched a important support level why Fausto why is it important this support level well because last time it reached there it went up 1122 percent right so and the other time it reached that level it went up, it went up for 132 percent so that's why that's the important support level market reverted in the support level and then broke this resistance front line and is now doing what maybe a pullback to the a former resistance line if it shows support and sends it away this will be a pullback and maybe good reason for us to put it on our portfolio again huh a little bit for the, the for the outs to to resurrect again <laughs> well uh ethereum well we keep an eye on ethereum always right and now we just broke this resistance trend line but it's uh you no know, shy very shy yet but uh well i'm not keeping an eye on ethereum anymore i just deleted it from my from my uh, from my coins here now EOS uh, was well broke the support line and it was coming back to test the support line and the resistance trend line so we kept an eye on that when it's especially two days uh, ago that it was doing kind of a reversal after having produced the hammer right here and a hammer just be, uh, just after the market break, break a support level it's an important uh, indication although we didn't have a a climax uh, downward climax here but anyway keeping an eye on use token and finally uh, matic matic well matic was launched by binance i think they did their homework and they, they broke this uh, tiny support uh, resistance trend line here and they're going sideways now so if uh, it breaks this uh, sideways moving to the upward uh, side I think it might go test the all times high again but not too much technical as to do in this here just uh, you know speculation and uh, so this this is it hope you uh, enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber uh, please subscribe to the channel help us reach a hundred uh, subscribers i want to get there a hundred thousand of course a hundred k i want to get there before bitcoin does and you you're gonna help me aren't you okay see you next time ciao